So welcome to part two of this week's mutation uh, videos. And, and this video will deal with the four chromosomal mutations, deletions, duplications, inversions, and translocations. Uh, and this promises hopefully to be a shorter video uh, than the previous one. So we'll look at each one individually, and in the end we'll kind of wrap the whole process up. So the first chromosome mutation we'll look at are the chromosomal deletions. And as you can see here, a chromosomal deletion is, is exactly what it says it is. Uh, we have our entire chromosome here, and what happens is a piece of that chromosome, and that piece would generally include many genes, um, is broken, and then that deleted piece, the pink piece here, is actually removed. So what we end up with, in the end, is a mutation that is, a chromosome, excuse me, that is missing many of the genes that are supposed to be there. So the second set of chromosomal uh, mutations that we'll look at are the duplications and again just like the name says we have our chromosome here and we have a pink region and a green region and what happens in duplication um, is that the genetic material on both of these areas is actually duplicated it's, it's copied over so what we have is instead of having just that region once we have that region twice um, duplications and deletions um, in meiosis I actually um, often work in tandem, where if you have a deletion from one homologous chromosome, it might be actually duplicated in that second homologous chromosome. So our third chromosome mutations are the chromosomal inversions. And what we see here with our chromosomal, chromosomal inversion is the region in question, the, the pink and the green. And what's going to happen in an in inversion is that that region is broken out and then inverted, flipped around, so that the orientation here you see in the mutated chromosome um, is the opposite or the inversion of the original. And the alignment of this section and the alignment of these genes uh, will often ha oftentimes have very dramatic effects on the outcomes of those chromosomes. So the fourth and final set of chromosomal mutations that we'll look at will be the chromosomal translocations. And a translocation is just a movement of parts of the chromosome. And, and we'll actually spend a lot more time talking about this when we do crossing over in meiosis. But here's just a, a basic introduction. So we have two different chromosomes, non-homologous chromosomes, chromosome A, chromosome B. So what's going to happen in this situation is this bit of chromosome A and this bit of chromosome B are actually translocated. They're flipped. So you can see here there's a color difference. Um, and there's a difference between a balanced translocation and a non-balanced translocation. But for now, all you really need to understand is that you're taking entire pieces of the chromosome and switching that piece with an entire piece of another chromosome. So in conclusion, what we've done this week is we've talked about two fundamentally different types of mutations. We started off talking about point mutations, which are mutations that occur on individual genes and will affect individual proteins. And we identified those as our substitutions and the indels, which include the insertions and deletions. And then we went on to talk about what kind of impacts those mutations may have when we talked about the differences between silent missense and nonsense point mutations. So that was the first part. The second part was when we talked about chromosomal mutations. And those are mutations that affect entire chromosomes. Uh, you're, you're talking about entire regions of chromosomes, which include many, many genes. And we outlined the uh, different types, chromosomal deletions, chromosomal duplications, chromosomal inversions, and chromosomal uh, translocations. And that was the primary goal and the primary outline uh, of, for what we did this week.